Kenyan Special Police confessed, reviews who sent them, and who ordered the extradition and arrest of Namde Kanu. Hmm. You see, the what will make this uh, trial to be more interesting is what is just uh, about happening now. Is what is about happening now. This is what will make this Namde Kanu trial to be more interesting and you know prove Namde Kanu to be even more innocent. You understand? In fact, Namde Kanu is going to make a lot of money from this very trial. Of course, it is not only the federal government of Nigeria that are going to pay. You understand? It's not only the federal government of Nigeria that are going to pay. Some other persons are going to pay too. The Kenyans are going to pay because they also took part in the extradition. You get it? So they're going to pay. They will go no scot free. Okay? So it's, um, it's becoming very interesting and um, more, uh, more acceptable. Um, you see, it is the Kenyan government that is going to um, blow everything off and make everything open. Any, anybody that, that has been telling a lie concerning the extradition of Mazin and the Kano, that person will now be exposed. You understand? Because the Kenyan government we have no choice than to reveal the truth because they themselves, they are trying to escape or save themselves. If not, they, should be, they will be ready to pay for damages. And you know now, Kenya don't have that much money to pay for damages. <laughs> All right, so my dear viewers, let's quickly um, check the content and know what the content actually have for us. It has been revealed that the Kenya government have surfaced in the court to answer for their own case. Though Namdekanu's trial is still very much on with the federal government, but the need for Kenya's interference has been called upon. The courts have listened to the judgments and the confession of the military officer representing Kenya has come to conclusion that Namde Kano, though didn't know the real plan of the federal government of Nigeria and the Kenya government, only went to Kenya for his own personal reasons, only to be arrested and extradited down to Nigeria. According to the judge, the extradition of Mazin Namdekanu is illegal. For a country to extradite someone with a British passport, it's illegal. In fact, it's criminalistic. For this reason, the Kenya government has gone far to review names and reason why they did what they did. The military speaking on behalf of the Kenya government has revealed that Malami is the bone of contention between Namde Kano's extradition. We are informed and told of what to do, and we did as expected. He claims. <laughs> oh my God. See, let me tell you, my dear viewers. Now, you can see that Malami is, is, the, is the person uh, fingers have been pointed at. Now, you now see that Malami will now speak we now speak and review the person that, that sent him to carry out the plan. 
You see, I for one already know that Malami is the one who planned this extradition. I know because if you watch it very well, when the Kenya government were to hand over, they handed over Namde Kanu to Malami direct. You understand? Yeah. So that is to tell you that Malami is the master planner, but then he wasn't the person that gave that instruction. Someone, somewhere, somehow must have called Malami to order and say, okay, do this. This is how you do it. This is how you're going to do it. And that is where we are now heading to. And that we will now be the one to review the truth concerning Namde Kanu's extradition. Hmm. Then we will now know if truly President Mubari is not involved or involved. So for the now, we are still floating on waters. Nobody really have gotten the um, the concrete um, name of the person who actually ordered Namde Kanu's extradition. Wow. This is getting more interesting and um, and um, more uh, tougher by the day. I would say it's also laughable because uh, you can see how lawyers are now fooling themselves. Nigerian lawyers, at, at, for that matter, even Malami himself, the, the Minister of Justice, is it, so crazy. It's so crazy that um, a whole Minister of Justice can be beating around the bush, you know? <laughs> Oh, all right. Um, let me hear from you, my dear viewers, in the house based on these very notes and um, um, based on this very broadcast. Okay, um, don't forget your comments and your ideas are very, very, very much welcomed. Don't forget to leave them below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time. We upload any new videos. Thank you.